throat. My spoon's too big. My spoon is too big. My spoon's too big. This scene feels like something I once saw on a screen. I searched Aurora Borealis green. I'd never seen someone lit from within. Blurring out my peripheries, my style feels like I won a contest in the hide. Would life be so dishonest and it's fine to make it, but you make it till you do. Raising 22 children in the world's coldest city. Eugenia Cooney. Um, hello. I don't, I don't have I don't have the thing pulled up yet. Hold, please. Bear with me. It's the <gasps> bear necessities. The da 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 necessities. Da, 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 da. I don't even know what that's from. Bear Necessities. Uh, Bear Necessities song. What's that from? Oh, Jungle Book. Aw, cute. I should rewatch Jungle Book. <clears throat> I forget about Jungle Book. I don't know. When I went to Disney, um, oh my god, I froze. When I went to, it's really bad tonight, the freezing. Configure crossbar. What's that? Yeah, when I went to Disney two months ago, they didn't have like anything Jungle Book. And now that I think about it, I don't really think that they've ever had anything. It like like it's it's never been a thing. It like it was never a ride that they got rid of eventually. Like it just has never been a thing. You know. You no. Know? Um, and now, okay, top chat, live chat. Hello, Hangry Sloth, Moonlit Moth, Bubble Tea, Sicko, Majin, hey Majin, Majin, Meow Mate, Nicola, Tackle Box, Dog Flesh, Danielle, hi Shannon, hi Dabby, Dabby. Is Jordy's skin lips here? I don't know. Jordy's endless slushies here. Finally got an Android so I could become a member. Oh my God. Was it worth it? Was it worth giving up everything to gain nothing? <laughs> uh, flying tackle hugs. Aw. Hi, Kylie. Kylie Stockholm. Um, no slushy tonight. No slushy tonight. Tonight we're doing a McDonald's Diet Coke. Is that okay with everybody? Y'all know how I feel about McDonald's Diet Coke. So, I like McDonald's Diet Coke. I feel like I could drink one pretty regularly, but... I've noticed that when I do drink them regularly, I get headaches and it like gets worse and worse. And I think it's because of the aspartame. So I, I can only have one of these like a couple times a week. I know, I know. The things that you have to sacrifice in life, it's, it's, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, what am I gonna do? Just stop drinking diet soda? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get real. <laughs> right? It's like, y'all made me addicted to this with your corn syrup being pumped into everything. It's like, the least you could do is not give me headaches to go along with it. It's just... 
prude. Caffeine? No, because I have caffeine every day, but just not in the form of Diet Coke. So I think it's the aspartame. Yeah. Do you prefer Diet Coke over Coke Zero? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I can't tell if this is actually live because on YouTube it always shows that he's live. Really? When did Judy go live? Five minutes and 48 seconds ago. Oh, my God. Gerd. What's happening with Eugenia and Jeffrey? So, uh, Eugenia is making her comeback. We have heard from Miss Cooney that she would be revamping her social media. She is going to start to make changes online that hopefully reflect the complaints that have been ledged against her over the entirety of her time on the internet. So we're going to take a look at what that potentially means in her opinion. Um, and then after that, I have a ton, ton of footage from uh, Jeffrey, like his his live streams. I have like ooh, one, two, three. I have three three hour live streams of uh, TikTok of Jeffrey over the past couple weeks. So uh, if it's boring, we'll have a lot to sift through. You know. But, um, yeah, we also never finished the hotel room footage, but I don't think that, I don't think that we need to. I feel like that was kind of it for the hotel room, you know, Jordy will be my Valentine. Of course, Jeffrey star. Of course I'll be your Valentine. Oh my God. For those of you that didn't see on my Instagram story and didn't see on Twitch last night, uh, I ordered a Jeffrey star sticker off of Etsy and it is Jeffrey wearing a red dress with red stiletto heels, a long green hair wig, riding a yak. Here it is. Uh, sorry, it's not focusing. Sorry, it doesn't look the best on here. Oh, no, it focused. Okay. His green hair is getting cut out by the uh, green screen filter right now. But yes, this is my Jeffrey Star riding a yak sticker that I got from Etsy. <laughs> uh, I have some more stickers on the way too. Etsy's a cute little site. Y'all ever been on Etsy before? We were just randomly on. We were we were on Twitch one night, and I was like, "How about we do some online shopping?" And somebody was like, "Go on Etsy. Look around on Etsy." So we did, and we came across all sorts of cool little stuff. Can we see Eugenia's new video? You can, Judith Jackson. Um, in school, certain teachers, like when you would ask them, can I use the bathroom? They would look at you and they say, I don't know, can you? Because like they were expecting you to say, may I? I mean, like it, it, it's funny the first time, but like there were some teachers that did it for years. I don't know, can you? Uh, hi, Wolfgang. Hi, Lori. Hi. Um, is it Ern Blue? Ern Blue's in the house. Um, Cupcake Queen. Hi, Cupcake Queen. Jordy, shout out my Etsy. Puppy Fly Creations. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I think what we'll do tonight is we'll start with Eugenia TikTok and then move on into uh, the live streams. Sound good?
But first, a word from our sponsors. Age-restricted pantyhose. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Bestie for the Resty 2008. Thank you, thank you. A measly galaxy for helping me fold socks. <laughs> Folding socks. This might be controversial, but... I don't fold socks. I put one sock into the other and then turn it inside out and kind of make it into a ball. Do, do y'all fold socks or do you do what I do? Hmm? Do you also put the twist tie back on the loaf of bread or do you just kind of spin the loaf of bread around and then tuck it and then put it down on the counter? <sighs> This is how you get to know someone. I ball my socks. I love that ball was just used as a verb. Sock ball. <laughs> Alyssa B. Hey, Alyssa. Are you and your gang here this evening? Hope your night's going well. I'm looking forward to the stream. Oh, thanks. Hope that you and Dylan. D Alyssa B. Dylan. It's either Dylan or David, but I want to say it's Dylan. Alyssa B., Dylan, and Cassidy. That's that's the little crew. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Hangry Sloth, thank you so much for giving someone in the chat a membership. That's really sweet of you. Bread ties are a waste of time. I mean, if you can spin it and then, you know, it's like spin it. And then that makes its own tie, and then you just kind of, like, put it down on the counter with, like, the handle side down. So that's, like, even more closed up now. <sighs> I use the twist tie unless I misplace it. Ooh, you're an organized person, Sheila. I bet you also make your bed in the morning, don't you? <laughs> uh... Hi, Brooklyn girl. Hey, Katniss. Spin and tuck, baby. Barbara's got the right idea. Okay, let me pull up um, Talk Tick. Close Discord. Tick, talk, tick, talk, dot, com. Eugenia, XX, Cooney. Okay, so there's one where, like, she makes, uh, there's one she put up today. I don't know if we're going to watch that one. But the ones that she put up yesterday, she's like, um, hey, guys, Jeffrey Makeup. Hi, you guys. So. Okay, here it is. Less Jeffrey, more therapy. Oh, my God. That's the, that, the number one comment on this is less Jeffrey, more therapy. Honey, we are so over Jeffrey Cosmetics. This is definitely the way to reinvent yourself, girl. Great job. Huh. I'm just reading all the people that they have to say about this video. Sorry. Uh, this is awesome, dude. Great way to make your new content. Just very chill. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to get rid of this tab. Did I freeze again? No, I didn't. All right, we're good for now. I want it. Mm -mm. I want it. Pause the stream. My hearing aid just died. Nobody move. I lost my hearing aid. Okay. So, um... Yeah, so this is Eugenia's return to social media. She said that she's going to be a changed girly pop here. She has a lot of um, improvements in what she would like to show online from now on. Let's take a little looksy looks at uh, what that may look like. My first time on here. Hello, Endangered Leviathan. Very interesting username. Don't you belong at the bottom of the ocean somewhere? I guess you are endangered if there's only one of you. Hmm. Well, I thought today I would just kind of make a quick video showing you guys some of my favorite makeup items and products that I use like 
all the time and just really love every day when i'm doing my makeup i am like obsessed with the jeffree star mirrors um jeffree's just seriously got like the best mirrors ever and um you guys probably saw this in like a recent tiktok i posted um it's so hard for me to pick a favorite but this new mirror definitely one of my favorite ones uh it's so cute for valentine's day too i love this green color for this mirror guys i also like obviously i love jeffree's pomeranian so much they are like the sweetest most amazing dogs and i finally got um the diva mirror which i think is just such a beautiful tribute to diva and i love like all his pomeranian mirrors so much this one of my newer ones i just kind of thought i'd show you guys it's so so cute it's like she's assuming that everyone knew or she's assuming that everyone knows that jeffrey had a pomeranian named diva that passed away I just think that this, I mean, like that, that, that sentence would not make sense to most people. Cause so, I mean, unless you are equally as invested in Jeffrey as you are Eugenia, which a lot of people aren't, then you would have no idea what she just said. I just think that this is a beautiful tribute. I mean, I didn't even know. Remember the other day when I was asking, because um, we saw that one t-shirt on Etsy and it had all of the Jeffrey Pomeranian dog names on it. And it, it said like, uh, like diva and delicious and like, like whatever they're called. I don't know. And um, I said, are they all still alive? And one of you all said, uh, no, diva isn't. So I just found that out like, I don't know, a week ago. A $100 mirror? No. That mirror's $100? What? For a mirror? You're kidding. You're kidding. No. 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 Stop. Drop and roll. This, so it says Happy Valentine's Day on it. Okay, and here's the butcher knife thing. It says 30. Who lied? I'm blocking you. Specialty. Okay, so there's star mirrors. The star mirrors are all 30. How much is the cat? The cat mirror is 32. Who said 100? Mods, track them down. Release the hounds. Release the Pomeranians. <laughs> I'm a heartbreaker, dream maker, love taker. La, 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 la. For $24, you too can be a heartbreaker. Ooh, look at this one. Look, it's like a satanic thing. Ooh, that's, that's kind of spooky. Is this an ice cream cone or is this cotton candy? This is probably cotton candy. The butcher cleaver. I can't. <laughs> Where were we looking at Eugenia? Maybe it wasn't Eugenia, but I swear it was either on here or on Twitch. We were watching something one time and someone, oh, it was on Etsy. It was on Etsy. Okay. So people on Etsy make these butcher cleaver mirrors. <laughs> like they make all of Jeffrey's products like handmade and then they sell them on Etsy. So people made this butcher cleaver mirror, but instead of the the blood like being splattered across like this, because I mean like realistically, like if you go to like hit somebody or chop meat with it, the blood would be on the blade, correct? What <laughs> the person that made this mirror on Etsy, the blood was dripping down from the top, like like of the handle. Like it it, it made no sense. <laughs> Um, you hate cleaver mirrors. What I don't like, I mean, not that I use hand mirrors or whatever, I have any reason to, but I would think that 
I would not like a, a cleaver mirror like this because the handle's on the side. I would want something in the middle. So if I were to get anything, I would probably get, I, I don't know, like th this one's kind of cool, I guess, like the ice cream cone. What? Oh my God, I just called that an ice cream cone. No, I, I meant popsicle. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. All right, go tell us about the foundation girl. Uh, Mallory, hey, Mallory. Uh, I know that you're not into astrology, but have you ever seen uh, Anthropodites, Anthrodites tarot readings on Eugenia? No, I haven't. Um, but I know of all the people that I cover online, like uh, Amber Lynn, Foodie Beauty, and I would imagine Eugenia too, because I mean, you just said it, but uh, people have gone to fortune tellers or tarot card readers. I'm not sure exactly their titles, um, mediums, and they have gotten consultations or like information on the gorals. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, thanks so much for that, Mallory. Erica. Hey, Erica. Jordy Lindro, the remix. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> I had so much fun with that. Foundations? Like, this is a foundation I'll use, like, pretty much every day, guys. Or, like, almost always when I do foundation. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I use this in the shade 3.75. That foundation, I really like it because, like, I am just, like, very very pale skin. Um, and sometimes I have such a hard time finding a foundation that works on me. And that one that's just like for years. I feel like it's a pretty good fit. So that's the one that I'll usually wear. An even better fit with my skin, guys, is like if Jeffrey ever makes a foundation, I know I'm definitely buying that. Um, the Magic Star Concealers, like they are the best. This one is in the shade C1. As you guys can probably tell, I like to use a pretty good amount of liner. Uh, I like gel liners a lot just because like I feel like they're really easy to work with and apply and stuff. And this one is like the... Okay, so no legs, no arms, no torso, only a little bit of neckline is exposed in this. And it's all about makeup. So is the change just going to be covering up forevermore? I mean, I suppose if we really think about it, most of the grievances did stem from that. So zooming in the camera... Uh, covering up more. Yeah, I mean, like, are, are these the sweeping changes that we were looking for? And, like, I, I'm not trying to be that person that's never satisfied. Like, oh, he's going to be critical of anything that she does. He's going he's gonna to bitch no matter what because it gives him an excuse to do these streams. Listen. 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 I told you to listen. Now I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll give credit where credit's due. Um, I mean, if you're not doing the pantyhose, if you are zoomed in a little bit, the teddy is childish. Mm, kind of like the whole like whimsical, the voice thing too, the voice thing too. She's trying to cover up to not, show this is the strangest age restricted content I've ever seen <laughs> welcome to the 2020s <laughs> uh, hands and neck slash face for modesty and guidelines Uh, she's hiding. Yeah, I mean, decimated pantyhose. That's a good point. Because a lot of when she would show the pantyhose and, like, the rest of her legs and everything, 
it was like those little black shorts and it was like very much so exposing that area but then her go-to excuse with that would be well i'm wearing shorts so i can sit in whatever position or whatever angle i want to aim myself at at the camera it's okay because i'm wearing shorts I mean, I don't know, like, what are we going to do here? Like, go, like, full mi missionary position, but it's okay because we're wearing little black dollhouse kills shorts. She seems to be talking more quietly. Mm. Almost like a, like a very timid person. Like, they don't really want to say anything too loud because they don't want to come across as anyone that is overstepping. So it's very... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's trying not to play with it. She's trying not to play with it. That's what she's doing. What's going on with those brows? Uh, I'm not here to critique on little things like eyebrows or like the quality of the makeup is the hair thin I've seen some people say that Jord Jordazapam <laughs> what like Lorazapam <laughs> oh my god she's talking to teenage girls about a $70 foundation yeah isn't this is this like Armani she said this is Armani makeup <laughs> wait I have Armani cologne right here <laughs> yeah I mean you know, obviously she can she could come on here and she could promote as you know expensive as products as she wants to, but this like I think it is more common for people to talk about things that are more relatable or more affordable to a wide audience. Uh from that comment alone, it doesn't seem like a lot of people are spending seventy dollars on foundation. So I wear that foundation. Ooh, Katniss is rich. Did you bring enough for the whole class, Katniss? Did you bring enough to beat everyone's mug? Jordy, stop being a hoe. <laughs> Never. Never, ghost. That was my favorite foundation, too. Ooh, we got some rich kids in the chat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Katniss in the end. Little Richie Riches in the chat. Why don't you pull up in your Lamborghini and show us, huh? <laughs> SO Curse, thank you. Amber Lindro has been stuck in my head all day. I hope it stays there forever, SO Curse. <laughs> Sylvika, hey Sylvika. Uh, can you say hi to my boyfriend, Jake? Hello, Jake. I'm the internet boyfriend, Jordy. Glad that we can uh, share Sylvika together. Hope, hope you're okay with an open relationship. <laughs> uh, I spend like 40 to 50 on foundation. Mm. Anastasia gel liner. It's in the shade Jet. It's like fairy black. Which is what I like, because I basically like my eyeliner to be as black as possible. You guys can probably also tell that I like to do like a pretty dramatic lash a lot of time. And I really love the Lily lashes. That's kind of like a lash that I've been wearing for years. Um, I know that Miami lashes came out a long time ago, but I still wear them all the time. And they're probably my favorite pair of lashes. Also, there's like a few lip products that I really love. Um, a lot of time, like a lot of days, I like doing these really kind of like dark eyes. And um, I really like to kind of do like a dark eye with like a nude lip a lot of time. So, okay. Well, first of all, there's this lipstick that this is one of my favorites that Jeffrey makes. It's called Diet Mannequin. And this is like, this is one of 
Did we just hear the same thing? Girl, this is your comeback video. This this is you trying to show the internet that you would like to put something different online. Um she shows off maybe five products in this video alone. Of the countless items that you have of Jeffrey's collections, the one that you select to showcase in your comeback video is Diet Mannequin. Diet Mannequin. Okay. I'm just saying, choices, choices. Um, some things are subtle. And I mean, maybe this is one of those examples when she genuinely sits there on that pink couch and thinks to herself, what did I do wrong? What am I saying that's wrong? What are you talking about? See, you guys are saying things that I'm doing wrong, and then you say that I gaslight you, but it never registers to me in that way originally. So I'm not at fault. Is, is this one of those examples right here? <laughs> I, I mean, did she just genuinely want to come on here and talk about diet mannequin? What's a diet mannequin? Well... You know what a mannequin is, right? And you know what a diet is, right? <laughs> uh, we all have names, Jordy. She's trolling. You would think that if she's trying to get reinstated on here, she wouldn't even try it with these little subtle things. You would think. You would think. But. I don't know. Is it kind of like once a troll, always a troll? Jordy with the sass. What have you picked up on in this stream that has been sassy? Would you care to cite your example? Barry! Hi, Barry. Um, have you ever thought about making a P.O. box? I work at McDonald's and I'll send you coupons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For that reason alone. <laughs> you got it, Barry. <laughs> Appreciate that. Do mannequins have bones? Yes. Of velvet trap lipsticks and you guys can see that these are so beautiful with all like the stars and everything the jeffrey logo and um this one's like one of my favorites this is one that i was recently sent in pr again and i was so excited to get another one it's like such a nice nude um this is actually the one that i'm wearing today and definitely one of my favorite nudes that jeffrey makes i love like all his lip products so much but yeah i love that one so that's the one that i have on today and then another one that i was sent recently that i was super excited to have another one of and that i really love is the shade diva which is a really really beautiful like bright pink named after diva again which i think is so sweet and it's such a beautiful color and it's definitely one of my favorite pinks like i love this one so maybe i'll have to wear that one in a video for you guys soon or something and then you guys oh my gosh this has been like one of my favorite nude shades for like the longest time when this shade came back into stock finally i was so excited i literally ordered so many of these guys and this is the jeffree star i'm nude um it's seriously like just like the perfect nude i wear it oh so we're talking more about nudity that's a real good start for your comeback <laughs> <laughs> you cover up, but then all you do is talk about nudity. A little bit contradictory, huh, Eugenia? <laughs> 
I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Still dressing like a little girl, though. Yeah. I mean, the little bear. But I mean, her response to this would be, well, it's it's designer. And like, design, designer clothes are weird. Like, they have like dumb shit on them. Like, have you ever seen a fashion show? I'm sorry if this might offend fashion people. But like, sometimes in fashion shows... They will be wearing things that you just think, like, who the hell would ever wear this? In what scenario would they ever be wearing this? <laughs> so, I mean, to be wearing, like, a gigantic teddy bear on your shirt like this that probably cost her, like, three or four hundred dollars. Um, I don't know. She's totally trolling. Jeffrey's nudes probably give you uh well the only people that are seeing Jeffrey's nudes are NFL and NBA players infantilizing your appearance is so icky yeah maybe like I don't know tone it down with like the power puff and like the teddy bear shit um Maybe just like a black t-shirt. I mean, like, I don't know. What do, what do 29-year-old women wear? Not that, like, I'm trying to, like, dictate her, sky, her style and be toxic and tell her that she can't have hobbies. But I'm just saying, if you're trying to kind of lean to the other side of the spectrum and rebrand yourself in a way, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll rebrand myself one day, you know? Maybe instead of tank tops and black t-shirts, I'll start coming on here in a parka. And instead of being a little shithead, we'll just come on here and shower people in compliments. What do you think? Hmm. When will that rebrand be? <laughs> Y'all are saying hopefully never. His nudes are GMO. Well, you're not wrong, actually. <laughs> I mean, because uh, I mean, when you think about like, who knows what some of these people have been pumped up with uh, in terms of genetic modification, the hair thing. He had the hair transplant. Remember, he told us about it. They had like hair fibers taken out of the back of his neck and placed onto the top. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Should I do that? Do I have a widow's peak? Can anyone let me know? Is this a widow's peak? So, like, if I took hair from the back of my neck and, like, put it here, like, is that basically what Jeffrey did? I don't even know how that would look. Huh. Business casual. Don't rebrand yourself. I'm the same age as Eugenia, and I would wear the same clothes as her. No, it's not. No, it's not what? Not a strong one? That's a receding hairline? No, wait! Shut up. You're a receding hairline. You think this is receding? You think? Not a widow's peak. You don't have a widow's peak. Vegeta. I, you just call me Vegeta. Receding hairline. Okay. Um, we're going to quit talking about my hairline. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Yes. No, it's not receding. Okay, so a hundred of you said it's receding, but because Jordy's Endless Slushy said it isn't receding, we're going to go with that and end the conversation. Okay? Okay, I think that that's uh, in everyone's best interest. Let's just say that. Carissa Marshall. Hey there. Thank you. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Jeffrey Star is so amazing, and so are you. Happy Valentine's Day, Jordy. Carissa Marshall. Thank you for serenading me in that lovely poem. Oh. 
Jeffrey's amazing. He is. He is. Can you guys think of a more talented cosmetics designer and someone worthy of being a level 50 on TikTok? I can't. I can't. Personally. Personally. Um, Jordy's Endless Slushy, thank you for sticking up for me uh, in the chat. And thank you for the super chat. Isn't that the same outfit she wore on the other TikTok where she was crying? So was this filmed on the same day? Mm. Oh, look, 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 look. I may have spoken too soon. She didn't cover up the legs. Look at this. Got a little pantyhose moment situation type deal down here. Mm. Modesty did not last long. No, it did not. The same outfit she wore when she had her little meltdown. Uh, YouTube.com. Who had the video? Did Wolfgang have the video? I think Wolfgang uploaded some of it. Uh, shorts. Oh. Where is it? Is this? I mean, in a lot of ways, I kind of have been, but. Okay, this is interesting. So Jordy Sendless Slushy said she's wearing the same outfit that she was um, having her breakdown in the other day. What do y'all think? So like, hold on, let me move the live chat back. It froze. So do we have a conspiracy on our hands? Is, is this kind of what I'm gathering here? What do we think? Okay, so this was today. Or no, this was yesterday. Yesterday. That was uploaded on the 13th. And then this was the last week of the breakdown. So the same teddy bear shirt thing. The same nude lip. Her makeup? Her... Mm, yeah, it's the same makeup. Same makeup. The brown plushie in the back. Same orientation of the stuffed animals in the background. Do you guys think that she filmed this last week? How weird would that have been, though? Like, for her to have a breakdown on TikTok that we took a look at, and then... The same day or like the same, I don't know, couple hours afterwards, she comes back and films a Jeffrey makeup review video. The only thing that looks a little bit different is the eyelid. The eyelid in this looks a little bit darker. Now, it very well could be the filter of the video that Wolfgang filmed this in. But I mean, like, the same, the same little wing, the same black thing. But I mean, like, is that even fair? Because I feel like she does her makeup like this all the time, you know? But the same, the, the same lip. And I remember in the breakdown video, she was wearing the pantyhose. I mean... Oh, this is too weird. If she filmed this back to back so closely together, th this is that's strange. That's really strange. Jordy, one of her nails is chipped in the left video. Which which nail? Hold on. Well, let's watch this and find the chip nail. All the time, it is like the best. And then I was thinking, guys, I'm like, oh my. This one. Pinky, I see it. 
Can you guys see it? It's chipped. Okay, so what would that be if I was in her orientation? That would be my right hand. Right hand, pinky nail, chipped. Wolfgang version from last week. Breakdown video. Let's look for the right pinky nail. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of not allowed to say that or people just say I'm playing victim. Um, and I understand how it can come off that way. Trust me, I don't like to be online like this. I really. Nail polish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Filmed on the same day. Filmed on the same day. That's really weird. That's really weird. Um, I don't know what the fuck that they're putting in our food anymore, but it's all poison. Everyone's lying about everything. There's poison in our fucking food. The moon is not real and Eugenia's lying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? Why lie? Why lie? Great detective work. I just hate that it had to come to this. Because you're coming to the internet to show people you want to make a difference. You want to make a change. But... That's crazy to be, to be that emotional, to be that emotional about something. And then in the same night, not even taking off the same makeup, filming a video like that. <clears throat> Happy Valentine's Day. I really, really don't, but I just figure I have to get back on at some point. So, here we are. <laughs> um, yeah. The fuck, indeed. Indeed, the fuck. The fuck. <laughs> Oh my God. I think she filmed the first video first. So like film this and then had a breakdown. So like, okay, let's, let's go along with that theory. Say that she filmed this one first. Then what caused her to get so frustrated? You know what I mean? It's like, because you're very calm, you have a collected demeanor here, you're filming a makeup review, you're kind of putting in the changes that people are asking to see in your channel, but then later that night, you come on here with this boo-hoo live stream and kind of communicate to the audience that you haven't learned anything. So what's the tea? What's the tea? 
<clears throat> my gosh. She probably felt that she could go live after doing a review. Makeup is fresh, did video for Jeffrey, did a stream or something, already was down during the makeup but needed to impress to stay relevant with Papa. The audience bullied her? No, because when she first got on, like, she had every intention of, like, sharing... Her, her, I don't think that the audience is what brought her to tears. I think she just got on there and she got in her feels. That's from screaming. I know I probably deserve that. I'd be sad too if I was wearing those fishnets every day. Those would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I would know. I've never worn like fish nets like that. But does do do like the do do the fish nets like dig into your skin? Like, do they hurt? I think that she was upset at the engagement of the video. That's another thing. That's kind of another thing that I've been noticing too. Like, if if you go to um her channel, let me click on her channel. Where is it? This little video that she put up, like, f three, four days ago now. Um, I mean, like, 40,000 views. Like, look at this. Like, look, look at, look at this one. I mean, I, I know more time has elapsed with these other ones. Like, I'm not, you know, ignorant to that. But, like, still, typically the longer a video is up, like, that doesn't mean it gets a lot of views over time. You get, in my experience, the most amount of your views in the first, like, two days. So, like, because this is at 40,000 views, like, this does not mean a month from now this is going to go up to, like, 267,000, like this one. And I mean, like, all the other ones, too. 115,000, 108,000, 700,000. I mean, that that's a lot of views. That is a lot of views. Um, 300,000. I mean, even her ones that really didn't get that much engagement, such as, like, surprising my mom for Mother's Day or, like, uh, playing in the garden. They still got a shitload of views. I mean... So, I mean, I don't know, like her putting up something like this, like 40,000 after three days. After 72 hours, views steeply drop off. Yeah, because it's like they stop pushing it in the algorithm. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Nicole Garrett, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Uh, yay, fun night with my favorite YouTuber. Let's go. Let's go, Nicole Garrett. Hope you're having fun. Grainy days. Hey, grainy days. My boyfriend gets jealous. I watch you so much, but I told him it's okay. You're married with triplets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's like, what's the big deal? <laughs> it's not like we're going to commit adultery or anything. Right? <laughs> Thanks so much, grainy. Julia Gale, thank you so much for renewing your membership on the channel. I jammed Amber Lindro all day. Very well done. Twas hilarious. Thanks for the gift of laughter on my birthday. You're giving beautiful energy tonight. Oh my God, happy birthday, Julia. It's your birthday on Valentine's Day. A little two for one situation type deal. Happy birthday to you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Naji, Naji's here with roll call. Hello, hello. Naji says hello to everybody. Hi, shorties. Uh, do we think that Jeffrey is paying her for the reviews? I don't think that he pays her for the reviews, but I just think that he continues to send these PR packages to her. And because she's so enthralled with him, she'll do it for free. Whereas other people, it's like, okay, yeah, I want a piece of the pie if you want me to promote your shit on my channel. But with her, it's like, oh yeah, we're best friends. I got you, boo. Oh my gosh, why am I showing you guys some of these like 
really cute Valentine's PR that I was sent the other day, which I cannot thank Jeffrey enough for. I'm like forever so grateful and he's such an amazing person. See, she thanks him for the PR. With most people, it's like, okay, send me your products and then give me the check and then I'll promote your stuff. With her, it's like, thank you so much for giving it to me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to promote your shit for free. <laughs> A lot of people don't think like that with business. And um, he also, another mirror is like this mini mirror, which I think that this is really so perfect for just like traveling and everything like that and look how cute this is with like the little heart and everything i love this so much so those are a couple of my favorite makeup products right now there's a lot of makeup that i love so this is kind of just a few but hopefully you guys like seeing those let me know if you guys maybe want to see more favorite types of videos or whatever you guys might like to see i'm kind of just kind of trying to get to like you know get back into making videos and stuff so all right love you guys all right. Be gone, Judas. Hi, Debbie Hoyt. Chipped. Nail polish. Deception at its finest. Deception at its finest. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Brandy. So Eugenia is being forced to create actual content. <laughs> well, I guess if she wants to come back, yeah. <laughs> Hi, scary spaghetti. Okay, so what we have next is... We have a lot of stuff, actually, that we could get to. Uh, this is from... When is this? I'm watching them right now on my phone. Okay, this was January 31st. Live stream. How long does this go on for? So, what is this? Okay, let's let me film over here. One second. Squirrel. Watching them right now on my phone. Okay, so this is him talking for strong. twenty. This is him talking for twenty minutes. This is before Miami. And then they do battles, 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 battles. From what I have found. The solo Jeffrey content is generally a lot more fun or engaging than him sitting there in a battle. So I would like to try to take a look at as much solo stuff as possible. <laughs> so when was this from? Okay, this was from two days ago. This is a lot of battle content. Okay, but we have we have all three of them here. I don't know who, who this is in the bottom right, but we have Barb's, Paul, and Jeffrey. Interesting, interesting. Okay, this could be a good one to go over. Uh, okay, and then I have another one. This is, from, this is from last night. Okay, but he's playing a lot of music. And then for some reason, it like takes it out of full screen. Okay. We get yeah, the music is kind of cringe. Like that kind of makes it for copyright problems on here. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is from January 31st. Watching them right now on my phone. Okay. Poifect. Poifect. Not the battles. I know, the battles, they can be funny. Like, there's parts of the battles that are fun. But as a whole, they're just like, ugh. He's not Keanu Reeves' son. He's just an innocent bystander. Lapis. Hey, Lapis. But Jordy, what will Christmas outfits be this year? <gasps> oh, that's a good point. If we can't do Santa Baby, oh, I don't know. Maybe she'll wear what all of the mall Santas wear. You know, like the long red pants and the long jacket and everything. Maybe a beard. Oh, I don't know. Eugenia with a beard. That could be interesting. Genetically modified. Hello. Uh, Hold on. I wasn't able to see your full username. I want to read your full username. Uh, go to channel. Genetically modified pantyhose. <laughs> okay. Let me ride it. The fuck? The fuck? Trying to make sense of this world. The fuck? Quite literally, genetically modified. 
Prez hands. Hey, Prez hands. Uh, you know, there's positive and negative magnets. That's ALR and Eugenia with delusion. <laughs> oh, boy. The polarity has shift. Thanks so much, Prez. She did this video and then went live on TikTok. So you're you're kind of thinking what I think it was Earn Blue said. I am also just an innocent bystander. Oh my god, my husband's snoring. Smack him. Beat his ass. And then put some lip gloss on his lips. Battles are super cringe and annoying. But I feel like they can be like a little bit more fun if it's like all three of them. If it's like Jeffrey and three random people, that's that's like huge cringe. But like if Barb's and Paul are there, I feel like it's not that bad. Keanu Reeves has a daughter, no boys. <laughs> All right, let's start with this. I have no idea what this is, but it's from uh, the 31st. Home. I'm over here filming. So if you want to watch me film this review, I'm going to be talking to this camera as well. Oh, look at that hot red. Yes, sir. Let's go, Paul. Thank you, baby. I already tried on a red, so I'm kind of over the red, but... Ooh, that's a pretty nude, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that Diet Mannequin? <laughs> diet Mannequin is a pretty nude, bitch. How long has the live been going? An hour and two minutes. Uh, hey, Lapis again. Her comeback is a lackluster, low-energy Jeffrey product infomercial of her idol. Oh, lordy, take the wheel. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I could do a parody of Jesus Take the Wheel with Jeffrey. Jeffrey, take the wheel. Take me to Casper. Drive me past all of the restaurants for us to look at. Jeffrey, take the wheel. I can't make my voice crack like that. Like, who say, who even sings that? Whatever. I don't know. Hey, Allison Smith. Let me go over here and get to filming again. Okay. Okay, there's three more shades, you guys. Which ones should I try next? I'm thinking this one. Oh, this is really pretty. What is this shade called? Speranza. Okay. All right, this shade is called Speranza. Let's give it a go. And a lot of people are wondering, it just smells like a normal liquid lip. We always do the smell test, nothing weird. Nothing weird. Who remembers in like middle school science class when they would tell you not to smell things directly, but you were to waft it? So like, for example, if I were to smell my orgy palette right now a middle school science teacher would tell you to not directly put your nose over it and go <laughs> but to waft it which nothing is smelling right now so i don't know it doesn't smell like a liquid lip that's for sure he is plastic yuck i'm crying Mismanaged Marissa, hello. Uh, one more weekend before chemo again. You're my comfort YouTuber. Thanks for the laughs. You certainly make a difference in my life. Oh, well, thank you so much for saying that, Mismanaged Marissa. Hopefully your journey is going okay. You're hanging in there. Thoughts out to you. And a heart hand. And a heart hand. Have a, have a happy Valentine's Day, Marissa. He's used to sniffing. Bad. Mean. Speculative. Jordy, you do watercolor paintings? 
What about my orgy palette makes you think of watercolor paints? The fuck? Hey, y'all. Oh, shit. Let's go with the galaxy. Thank you, beautiful. I am filming a new review right now on my phone, you guys. So give me a second. I am on my iPhone over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we zoomed in a little bit. Here is Miss Speranza. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, that's really pretty. Let's do one more dunk. Okay, looks kind of soft on this iPad, but baby, it looks good over here. Okay, do we love this formula or do we hate it? The red one went on so pretty. Okay. Why is he like shoving it inside of his gums? <laughs> this formula or do we hate it? The red one went on so pretty. He definitely just shoved it inside of his mouth. Did you see that at the very end there? <laughs> Can you eat makeup? His hair is fried. Ooh, don't say that in front of Hair by Jay. He'll kick your ass. Hair by Jay ain't afraid to get arrested. So I'd, my, I'd be mindful of your words. Jeffrey reminds me of a child playing teacher. <laughs> you mean like a, how little kids get in like their little playhouses and then they 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 play adults? <laughs> no, no, no. They they play house. That that that's the game. Yeah, let's play house. And then they sit around and they put. Oh my god, Eugenia could put her stuffed animals around a tea table and she like. More for you, Mr. Teddy Bear. <laughs> but instead of tea, it's liquid lipstick. <laughs> More Sprenza lip liner for you, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> but they're all like 38. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a bitch tonight. What has gotten into me? What has gotten into me? For real. Jeffrey has lots of experience with that. <clears throat> A certain mod in this chat is off their rocker making no sense. <gasps> A certain mod. Now, that's an awfully cryptic way of calling someone out. If you have something to say, why don't you say it to their face? Who was that? Where'd it go? Crystal! Are you the, wait, are you the crystal from these battles? <laughs> of course you would come in here and start shit. I know. Mm-hmm. The fuck? Go back to TikTok, Crystal. Jammed07, hey there, hello from Australia, so glad I finally caught a live, just wanted to let you know that your dad's a hoe. <laughs> well, um, actually, Jammed07, my dad passed away three hours ago, so, looks like you're the asshole here. Bet you feel real stupid right now. Mm-hmm, the fuck? Modgate 2.0. Oh my god, another modgate. Oh god. Who's it gonna be with this time? Ugh. No sugar tonight? <laughs> hey. Let's finish swatching. This one is so soft compared to that red. Oof. Definitely like the red formula more. Hey, y'all. Okay. All right, 
What do we think of the shade? Let's let it dry and let's see if the nude shade is kiss proof. So off camera, you guys, I tried this red one earlier and it was transfer proof. You could kiss my hand, the mirror, it did not come off. So let's give this one a moment to dry. Okay, and then we will test to see if she is the same, Miss Thingless. Okay, yeah. So we're just doing a little review over here, you guys, okay. Yeah, we sure are. We're just doing a little tutorial over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cindy, what do you mean? There's a TikTok going around. What does that mean, honey? I'm right here though, I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> There's a TikTok going around. What do you mean? I'm right here. God, the lives that Jeffrey and that crew do are so boring. Who watches them for genuine entertainment? Is it the mod who banned me? I don't know. <clears throat> but if it is, you have Katniss on your side. How old is Jeffrey? Is he 50? Um, he's 38. I feel like I'm the only one in the chat that hasn't told my boyfriend about Jordy. So you're a sneaky link. Hmm. Uh, so you're, you're keeping something from him on Valentine's day of all days. Interesting. My dad is in prison. Oh my. Is Jeffrey considered a man or a woman? For the... Oh my god. For the longest time, I thought Jeffrey was transgender. But... The way in which he describes himself is... He is just a man that likes makeup. That's all there is to it. He's just a man... Who likes makeup. That's it. That's it. So uh, if you're ever out in Casper, Wyoming. And you happen to see a man wearing makeup. I don't know. Maybe riding a yak along. Something that may look like this. Uh, odds are you may have just run into the Jeffree Star. Mm-hmm. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. The fuck? He's a drag queen? No, he's not a drag queen. <laughs> Jordy is now Sir Belchalot. Oh my god! Receding hairline Sir Belchalot? Those, okay, those are two things I can't control. Just saying. Just saying. Receding hairline, can't control that. I don't have $30,000 laying around to do the hair transplant. Sir Belchalot. I take I take a medicine every day for GERD. It's, uh, what's it called? Pantoprazole? P Pantopra I take Pantoprazole every day. You know, I thought that today was supposed to be about a day about love. Thought it was supposed to be about caring about other people, expressing niceness and kindness toward others. I'm getting a lot of vitriol in the chat directed toward me. Um just saying, just saying, that's how, you know, that's how I feel. Stop being mean to Jordy. Thank you, Moon Gypsy. Thank you. Mary, hi Mary. I just made my first skit. Wish me luck because I know it's stupid. <laughs> but happy you're alive because now I'm depressed. <laughs> you made your first skit. Your first skit of what? That sounds interesting. Gerd gang. Why not just go bald? Well, I don't want to go bald. Why would I go bald? 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 
I guess if I went bald, I would be able to wear wigs more easily. I'm trying to think of the upside here. I don't know. I like your widow's peak. It gives you like an evil Disney villain character look. Okay, well, I'm getting... Okay. I feel like Eugenia right now. Because I'm kind of empathizing her. Empathizing with her when she says, well, some of you are saying this and other people are saying this. So I really don't know what to think. Some of you are saying I have a widow's peak and then Ariel in the chat right now just said, which by the way, Ariel, you're going to call me a Disney villain. Ariel is going to call me a Disney villain. <laughs> Aerodynamic. Uh. <clears throat> <sighs> Did you just uh, get used to it? Then you get worse and worse and worse instead of helping. So Melanie's telling me to stop taking it. Ugh. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Delivery driver, we don't have moderators, honey. We, we like freedom of speech around here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Freedom of speech unless you say something that he doesn't like. Then you just get blocked. Brianna Rose, thank you. Uh, I would love to see a CT scan. I have a TBI from a car accident. Oh, oh my. Jeez. Yeah, that would be an interesting scenario. I think that you would look like Chicken Man from Toy Story if you went bald, Jordy. Okay, I haven't seen Ch Toy Story in some time. Chicken Man. Toy Story. do freedom of speech around here oh my god Kayla that is iconic Miss Musk that's never gonna happen honey we're on TikTok now baby okay everyone don't forget to do your daily heart me everyone double tap the screen let's go we were live earlier and now we're back we did review some products and now we're doing another video Mm-hmm. And now we're doing another video. So I'm filming over here on my phone. And we're gonna see if this lipstick is transfer proof. So I'm gonna be over here talking to my little iPhone over here. Okay. So in case you're like, what? I have never heard of that before. Lipstick being transfer proof. <laughs> so if you go to kiss someone, it stays on your lips. So would that mean that if you ate food, then it wouldn't come off? Because I remember, I remember, um, I remember specifically in high school, uh, some girls at lunch who tried, you know what I mean? Like there's some people who went to high school and did not give one shit at all, like sweatpants, hair up in a bun. Uh, you know, like sweatshirt, no makeup. But then there were people that really dressed for success, really wanted to put on, like uh, going to school was a fashion statement for them. I remember those girls would wear uh, really bright lead, lead, really bright red lipstick. And at lunch every day, they would always take it off. Like they would always take napkins and they would like, take it off before they ate. And then after lunch, they would put it back on. <laughs> Transfer proof is nothing new. So it's not like some like amazing thing. Because it's horrible if you keep having to reapply it. Hmm. 
smudge proof liquid lipstick was popular yeah cuz you would just you would eat a lot of makeup at that point it's kiss proof What the hell is Jeffrey doing? I'm reviewing a new Dolce & Gabbana liquid lip, and then we're going to do... <laughs> okay, everybody. We have someone in the chat that I went to high school with, actually. <laughs> Y'all see Nick A in the chat? Nick, and then the letter A? That's someone that I went to high school with. <laughs> Who wants to hear some stories about Nick A? Part two. No, but he did have to have a certain surgery in that vicinity. But we'll move on with Jeffrey Star. Do some battles, you guys. So, <clears throat> one moment. Okay, mm, it works. Okay, let's do the kiss test. Mwah. Nothing, baby. Okay. <laughs> the kiss test. <laughs> do do y'all do that with yours? Like after here, should I here? Let me try it. Why well, I, I don't have a liquid lipstick nearby, but I have uh, Doctor Bronner's Naked Organic Lip Balm. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> All right, Star Family, it's time for a kiss test. I mean, I see a little bit of residue, but that's some pretty good shit. I don't know. Should we see a Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Dr. Bronner's Naked Organic Lip Balm collab soon? Interesting. Interesting. No, it's GMO. Uh, Vanessa Callahan, thank you for the super chat. Mary, chipped! Chipped! <laughs> Nick definitely got a BBL. <laughs> no, not exactly. Wendy Beamish, hey there. Great detective work. Thanks for making me laugh. <laughs> Glad you're having fun, Wendy. Uh, hey, Lapis. Jordy, the way I screamed my little heart out. <laughs> hey, Granny. The FBI needs me. <sighs> I think you might be right. I think you might be right. I wish you never bought me. Jordy's mouthwash. Oh, you're right here. Look. Jordy's mouthwash. Did does Jordy's mouthwash uh, pass the kiss test? No, it didn't. Oh boy, you can see the residue. Can y'all see the residue? Look, residue. It's not Jeffrey Star approved. Damn. This is like some Kylie Jenner shit, then. Oh. Juniper, hey! Based on the makeup, I think she filmed the makeup video first, then went live later on. This is nuts! Good work, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Juniper. <laughs> Saluting you. Lizzie McGuire, you're an outfit repeater. <laughs> Thank you, Katniss. Oh my god, y'all crack me up. 
proof, y'all. It's transfer proof, baby. What the hell? Connor, I'm deceased. Let's go, everyone. Don't forget to do your daily heart me. If everyone can double tap the screen, let's share out that live. I'm gonna be live for a few hours, y'all, so let's get into it. We're about to wipe this shade off and swatch another one. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. And this is the things that people don't see behind the scenes, Miss Thingalis. So usually we cut, we wipe, and then we swatch again. Mm-hmm. At least we're wiping. I also tried um, a TikTok creator's makeup routine today. So if you want to click my name up there, go give my new video a like. Go say hello. Give it a little heart. I have a bunch of new videos up, you guys, from the last seven days. So give it a swirl. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is what you have to do to try on another shade. You gotta wipe and you, then you gotta apply the next one. You gotta put foundation on, you gotta mm -hmm. It's a lot of work, but I love it. Okay. And then you wanna wipe off any residue of the makeup remover. Mm-hmm. Because who would want that on their lips? And then Oh my god, Jacqueline, that's epic. I have no idea. This way, in case you're like, what the f Okay. He really does put it inside of his mouth. Did he use a makeup wipe on his teeth? He must have to, because when he really puts it in there, I mean... I, th I really... I, I don't know, like... Okay, let me ask a stupid question. When you guys put on lipstick like this, do you put it in on a like a little bit like on the inside of your lip too? Cause every time that I apply chapstick, it's just like like I mean I just kinda like wipe it across my lip. I, I don't But I mean like do you? Do you put it on like the inside of your lip a little bit? That's odd. Uh Lori Music, hello! Trudy, I'm sure that she has sent out this emotional video first to test the waters, got a good response, and that lifted her up to do the makeup review. Oh, okay. So Lori thinks that it was filmed in the opposite order. We have a, we have a hung jury here. Thank you so much, Lori. No. He's playing with it. Yeah, I've, I've just, I, I don't know. It really looks like it it goes inside of his mouth. And then somebody said that he shoved a mic a makeup wife wife. A makeup wife. He shoved a makeup wipe in his mouth and like put it on his tooth. That's it's a little out there. Ripped pantyhose. Thank you for the super chat. Detective Jordy, the fuck was coming from inside the house. <laughs> when a TikToker calls. <laughs> the galaxy is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ripped. Miss Thing, let's do one more dunk. <laughs> what the hell? If you're spamming the same comment, you guys, you need help. Like, Chloe, you definitely need to be blocked, honey. You need mental help. Taylor! Let's go, baby! Damn. Chloe needs mental help. He looks like Liza Minnelli. Jordy's makeup wife. I put lipstick on my tongue. Why? Um, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Use this for chipped paint. I will. I'm not going to paint any of my nails except for this one. And it's, it's only going to go on a little bit. Or maybe I'll wait for the nail polish to harden and then I'll scratch a little bit off. Thank you so much, Cindy. Jordy, did you steal those ears from Eugenia? 
What? These. These ears that I got from Disneyland last month for $34.99. These Mickey ears. Did I steal them from Miss Eugenia Cooney? I did. <laughs> he looks lesbian. Oh, hey, Navy wife Hernandez. Thank you so much. Hi, Taylor. Okay. Hi, baby. Hold on, y'all. Let me concentrate over here and get this red going. Why do people keep trying to at me? Leave me alone, bitch. Let a bitch film. Okay. Let's see if we can push her up in a little bit. Let me put a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin. Just a little on mommy's chin. You could have got them on Timu for $2.99. Let's see if Timu has Mickey ears. Timu, Mickey ears. They're four forty eight on Timu. They're five dollars on Shein. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't need no nothing at all to me. Barb just took his fourteen nuggies. I'm dying. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. We like that, we like that. We like that. Okay. Why are there so many fucking weird private accounts in my live, y'all? Let me block a few people while we're waiting for a battle. One second. Yo, I've never had to block this many people in my life until today. What's going on? There's something in the air. There's something in the water. In a live match. Is Barb still battling? Because we're over here waiting, this thing. Okay, we're gonna use the Dior Face Palette Highlighter. Mm-hmm. This is really pretty. It's natural, but really pretty. Let's go, Sierra, with the elephant trunks, baby. Thank you so much. I may or may not have just had a bathroom emergency. I need an adult. Jeffrey scares me. You guys were left in very good hands. You had a very nice, appropriate, well-spoken, level-headed chaperone while I was gone. Okay? I don't like the babysitter. <laughs> Cindy, happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Thank you for renewing your membership. Welcome back. Welcome back. Debbie Hoyt, will you be my Valentine? The fuck? Well, I've told several other people, but I suppose I could spread myself even more thin than I already have. Of course I'll be your Valentine, Debbie. <laughs> Nagy, hey, thank you for renewing. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Katniss, also thank you for renewing as much as I shitpost in the chat as a silly goose myself. I'm truly grateful for you and the community you've created, Jordy. Thank you. Oh, that is so sweet of you, Katniss. We love Katniss. Katniss honestly has really been to hell and back in this chat. I mean, she's been blocked. She's been dragged. She's been ridiculed. She's been attacked. Um, she's been reinstated. And now she's a very upstanding member of the chat. So Katniss has really been through it, y'all. Mm hmm. She wrote it. She wrote it. Mm hmm. The maids weren't cleaning the bathroom fast enough. I hate when he calls himself mommy. <laughs> I've never noticed that. He calls himself mommy. Why? Ew. <laughs> Bemo Klein. Hey there. Thank you so much for the very, very generous super chat. What's going on? I just got off work. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you get yourself something sweet. My treat. How are you doing today? And what's your favorite SpongeBob episode? Thank you, love. Love you. Oh, thank you so much, Bemo Klein. So, so generous as always. My favorite SpongeBob episode. I really like the one where they paint Mr. Krabs' house. Um, I like Skill Crane. When the Krusty Krab gets that little uh, toy in it, like that you can like put a dollar in and then make that crane go down to try to get a, a, a stuffed animal out of it. Um, I like the one where they go to the surface <laughs> and they all become puppets. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like them all. The Alaskan bullworm. That's another good one. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day back to you, BMO. Oh, God. But no, I'm filming a Dolce & Gabbana review I just finished. It's the new liquid lip. You like it? I do, not for $42. Damn, $42. Let's... Do you guys want to watch the live of uh, when they all battled? It was like him, Paul. I think it was from last night. No, two nights ago. <laughs> and I want you to... Okay, I don't, I don't want to see Kemi, and I don't want to see uh other person. Where's, when, when do they all three of them get together? Where is he? Where's the click? Ah, oh, okay. Ain't nobody messing with my click. Click, click, click. Thank you so much for stopping in. Okay. Hi. Yes, everybody. We're Hi. serving full Valentines. Honey. Barb, take those glasses off. Come on. Don't act like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this to be Oprah. Okay. Yes. No more Oprah? Okay. Look at these four glam squares. Oh, Paul. Oh, the right? beach, the inner corner? Yes. Right? The oh, nude. Oh, cotton candy oh, moment. The nude with the cupcake pink. I'm this. Oh, that's it, bitch. Yeah, that's oh. That is it, honey. Soft. Nude with the cupcake pink. Now, I don't know if he's done yet with his makeup, but I don't really understand the little pink by his tear duct right here. I don't think that that looks good, personally. Personally. But what do I know about makeup? Fatal Bunny! Thank you so much for gifting five people in the chat memberships. That's very generous of you, Fatal Bunny. Really appreciate that. And I'm sure all they do as well. Jeffrey just really made her go back to fish mode. So when she has her glasses on and she can see correctly, <laughs> she doesn't have to be so close to the camera. But when she takes her glasses off and she can't see for shit, it, that's what you're describing as fish mode. Why does she have to take her glasses off? I guess because Jeffrey wanted uh, her to show off the makeup. 
the red lipstick gives me flashbacks to 5150, get her out of here. <laughs> when Jeffrey shouts a command, you follow it. Ripped pantyhose. Thank you so much. I loved y'all so much, but I got to go on a date with my IRL hubby. Don't forget the moon and sun are fake, and we all have chipped pinky nails and bones. Oh, words to live by, ripped pantyhose. Having to go on a date with your IRL hubby? <sighs> all right, if you must. If you must. Have a good time, ripped. Jordy, the one with Kemi, Jeffrey gets mad. Really? Who does he get mad at? Rewind. Rewind. What's what's the context? Wait, was that earlier? Okay, so we're at two hours three minutes. Was he with Kemi earlier in this, or was that the other one? Oh, <laughs> does he does he scream at another straight guy? Is, who gets screamed at? It made me bleed. I can't. What did you just do? Look at the score. Oh, it just started, but still. <laughs> Wait, where, did Rewind say, Rewind, do you know why he got, he, about why he got pissed? Did Rewind say anything? Well, I want to see Jeffrey get pissed. I just floss my mouth with this thing. Inside, doggies, let's go. What? Mm. I can't. All right, this is a brand new battle, y'all. Everyone double tap the screen. We got a gum bleeder in the house. <laughs> <laughs> double tap. There's a gum bleeder. Watch out. What's up, okay? Jared? How are Kimmy, you? Kimmy, how's your day going, man? Good, good, good. My day's been going uh, pretty well. I'm just relaxing. All right, we're back. PT Dama, thank Is Kimmy... I, I I assume so. I mean, not that it matters. I don't even know honestly why I'm not, why I'm asking this, but is Kemi Thank you, baby. Hey guys, everybody double tap on that screen, guys. Double tap on that screen. What's Sean, up, thank you for the follow. Key, do you have any special plans for Valentine's Day? I don't. <laughs> What about you, Kemi? Do you have any? Do you have any special plans? Um, hmm. you know, it's it's spontaneous plans. You know, whatever okay. happens will happen on yeah, Valentine's Day. That's, that's usually the best. That's fun. Yeah, I like to have. You know, I'm in London, so I can't really have a Valentine's Day with somebody. You know. Are you in London for real? Yeah, I'm in London right now. That is amazing. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's Thank nice. The vibe here is really really nice. The architecture is just beautiful. Like the people are just beautiful. They're tall. Oh my gosh! I hear that London's dangerous. What has that, has your experience been? Have you have you dangerous? Cool? Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've I haven't even sensed danger yet. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, yeah that's, I've that's, been on on the, that's on the bucket I, list. I've taken the subway everywhere like that's so amazing it, it just reminds me of new york city but like back in the 1800s i guess i don't know <laughs> guys everybody let's go let's go let's go hunter yes guys. can anyone in the chat who has been to both london and new york city confirm what he just said is london just like new york city except in the 1800s London is not dangerous at all. That means no. No chip, Jordy. They... <laughs> the 
they put Kebby with people so that they can win battles. He gets no points. <laughs> so he's the, he's like the friend that they just bring along so that they can invite him because they know that no one will send him gifts so that they will win. <laughs> It's like, oh god, we we need to recycle and we need to get some points. Here, invite Kemi. We'll we'll cream him. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best word choice. We'll, we'll crush him. <laughs> oh my god, that cracked me up, EV. Token straight. Thank you so much for the super chat. It's Nicole Gross. I better be careful with this new username. Jeffrey might find me. <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you know? Are you in the NBA? NFL. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day to those celebrating. I hate this day. I'm the cheapest Valentine my husband has ever had. Oh, well, who needs Valentine's Day anyway, right? We have old TikTok footage of Jeffree Star with miscellaneous people. That's all that we need. Cream him. Like, I, I know. Like, that was not a good word choice on my part. I know. I know. But it's just like people say that though, like you know how like when you beat somebody, like you oh they got like we beat their team in a sport, they got creamed. I, I know what okay. I, I feel like we have way more, way more Dang. major city in the U.S. Yo, yes, guys, go to Jared's side and send him. Uh, oh, shit, the doubles are starting. Else, sorry, I was giving yeah, my dog his medicine. We gotta give my medicine. Nathan, your thank name. You, man. I well, I'm in London right now, guys. I'm not oh, shit, y'all. Oh, I have two here, y'all. I know we just had some crazy battles. Martha, that is so you the double. Thank you, Danny, I do. I do. Double like it's on, y'all. Everything's double. Everything's double. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go, 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 go. Jeffrey, you got any uh, Valentine's Day plans? Eh, probably anal. Yes, Chrissy Joe, let's go. Thank you so uh, much. Yes, uh, pop with the fireworks. I I am faded. Hey, come with the freaking handy. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yo, thank you guys, Nathan. Thank you, man. Um. That was so hot. Uh huh. Okay. Re rewind radio. Rewind radio said that the fight or like the argument or whatever was the battle before this one. So with this guy? Was it toward the end? Well, it must have been because usually he gets in fights with people and then he leaves. He goes, I can't. I can't. I can't. He starts a big argument with people and then he goes, I can't. I can't. He's yeah, tell him to drop a glove. Thank you. Oh Use the glove. Check glove. Glove. Check glove. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Check go. 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 I knew there it. it is. I knew Boom. it. Wait. You guys lied. Because you guys say that... I'm sorry for burping. Um, You guys said that Kemi never gets points. Or is it because he got the glove and they tripled his points? Well, wait, wait. Let's go back a little bit. That's what happened, I think. They... They... We're getting creamed by Jeffrey. And then they got the glove. And at the very end, their score got multiplied. What is it? By five. And that's how they beat Jeffrey and Barb's. Yeah. So Jeffrey and Barb's ended up getting creamed. When you get to, this is like Kemi's face when he gets to London and gets creamed. He has the least. Is Jordy becoming a battle expert? Well, I know, I know what a glove now does. I know my way around TikTok. I am. I am. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I know my way around TikTok. I could say, you could say I'm uh, pretty fluent in Gen Z. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Mm hmm. Jeffrey stop creaming everyone. Well, when he doesn't, he just gets on his other account and gifts himself. 
So if he is getting creamed, he just goes on his other account, sends money to him, and then sends money to himself, and then uh, he ends up getting the upper hand. So then he becomes the creamer. You know, Nicole Garrett, thank you. Sad to watch the downfall of Jeffrey becoming a mean human. I wish I could shake him and remind him of where he came from. His ego is also bigger than his sniff sniff. I have always known Jeffrey to be mean. <laughs> Sad to watch his downfall of becoming a mean human. Yeah, I've, I've always thought Jeffrey was mean, though. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's, well, let me ask you this, Nicole. Like, when did you think that he was nice? <laughs> All mouths open. That's funny. I saw that meow, mate. I don't know if a mod got rid of that or if you deleted it yourself, but I saw that. Mm -hmm. Thin ice. Jordy just put a chip in his mouth and chew. Stop playing with it. Check, go, go, go. I knew there it. it is. I knew Boom. it. Was that was so hot, Sean. Thank you so much. Holy shit. That shit hit, baby. I am fierce. That shit fucking hit. Hey, 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 hey. That was hot, Barb. Let's see what, let's see what we can We're do, Barb. We're dropping the glove at 30. We're dropping the glove at 30. <laughs> uh. Well, if they drop a glove. They'll really cream them because if you well, if you multiply this by five, I mean, Kemi will get so creamed in this battle. They're, gonna, they're probably gonna drop another I'm glove at thirty. Whoever that came so in there hot. got gloves. That was so hot. That was. Yes, Chris. All right, Kemi, we dropping the glove at thirty, y'all. You're gonna lose, DC. You hear me? You're gonna lose. Small boy. Yes, TikTok shop. TikTok, I have been sh shouting everything out. Don't even try to give me a violation, girl. Y'all, the TikTok shop is officially open. You can shop right here while we're battling. Every order on my on my page, you can get a free lipstick today. Did the glove hit? Me, like, paying attention to the score. <laughs> When's the fight? Because there isn't much... There isn't much footage left. Oh, that was incredible. Bells, Amber, and Titi Dama. Oh my. You suck. He's Gunda. Gunda. You have no no competition from Gunda, bro. Oh. There's nobody on this platform who could compete with Gunda. Oh, I'm telling you. No. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. All right, good games. Who's no. a level 38? Oh, come on. Was that the drama? Rewind Radio, you really edged us and told us that there was a fight and that was it? Them, like, joking with each other about their levels? That was the fight? Bro, you don't know the guy throwing for me. Like, that was you know. Send it. Cassandra, Christy, Joe, DMF, Chels, Amber, and Titi Dama. Oh my god, you guys, that was a team effort. That was hot. Did you hear DC? Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Barbs, that was hot. That was so hot. Did you hear DC? <coughs> Send he was it. like, you're not going to win. Like, he just, like, he really was, like, trying us. Bro, you don't know the guy throwing for me. Like, he could throw 10 million. You better shut up. <laughs> Have, you the, the Have you seen the people Literally, that threw for Jeffrey? Have you seen the people that threw for Jeffrey? Literally, he threw yesterday. He threw... He had a big belly. He DC, threw 5 million. you suck. He's Gunda. Gunda. You have no no competition from... Wait, they're like genuinely arguing, though. Did, did you see... Did you see that? The way that he stuck up for Jeffrey? So, I guess that what they're doing here is... He's like, you, you don't know the people that throw for me. Okay, this is a new term. 
Jordy, you're watching the wrong one. Well, which one is it? But listen again how Kemi sticks up for Jeffrey. How he's like, I have people that gift me so much stuff. I have people that throw for me. And then Kemi, like dead serious, is like, do you do you know who you're talking to right now? <laughs> it got really serious for a second. <laughs> not gonna win like he just like he really was like trying us bro you don't know the guy throwing for me like he could throw 10 million you better shut uh, up have you, you seen the, the people serious. that throw for you jeffrey have you seen the people Literally, that he threw jeffrey. yesterday he threw he had a big belly he threw five million. you suck he's gunda good you have no no competition from gunda bro oh there's nobody on this platform who could compete with gunda oh I'm telling you. no oh no <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right, good games. Who's no. a level 38? No, I'm not doing it. Mm hmm. That was actually an amazing battle, though. That was so hot. <laughs> they said right before this one. Okay, well, here's the thing we were watching the battle after that one. And then they said, it's the battle before this one. So I went to the battle before this one. But this is the only footage I have. I don't have the footage of the battle before this battle. So. Oops. Unless somebody else has it. Tell Barbie to request. I actually have to go give delicious. Oh my god, he called Barb's Barbara. <laughs> what was the girl from... Stranger Things that died in the first season in the swimming pool. Was her name Barb? Barbara? Barb? Beth? Was it Beth? She had, she had, she was a, she was like a heavy set uh, redhead. What was her name? First season of Stranger Things. She died in the swimming pool. What was her name? Was it Barb's? Barb, Barb, I th Barb. I think it was just Barb, like, like singular. Like, she's multiple barbs. This, this, barb. Yeah, with a B. Okay, yeah, barb. Miss her. Mm-hmm. She played with it. She played with it. Deshay Braun, thank you. Update on the Dollar General shooting. 16 years old and handcuffed. He tried to get away and they shot. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. I remember the other day when you came in here and you said, I'm working right now. And there was just a shooting outside my Dollar General. Oh my gosh. 16 years old. He tried to get away. Well, like, did he rob your store? That is wild. No media coverage on it. Oh my. That sounds pretty tragic. Well, thank you for updating us, Deshay. Jordy, please read my super chat so I can go to sleep. Okay, let me scroll down and find it. I can I can expedite you. <laughs> uh, happy Valentine's Day! In here, it's more like friendship day. And watching you feels like watching a friend. You and your hairline are great the way you are. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bruno Mars. Cause your hairline's amazing, just the way you are. And when you smile, Jeffrey stops and stares for a while. Cause Barb's is amazing, just the way she are. <laughs> Thanks so much. Kiki! Hi, Kiki! Kiki loves kimchi. Oh, okay. I just had four different martinis for dinner and told my boyfriend on the way home, I hope Jordy's live. And then you were. Hi, Jordy. Hi, Kiki loves kimchi. Sounds like you had a very nice dinner. But usually a romantic dinner on Valentine's Day leads to rose petals in the bedroom where there are no trails of rose petals leading to your bedroom kiki or are you taking things slow you did say boyfriend not husband okay all right all right kiki doesn't put out 
Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kiki. Hey, Annabelle. Hi, Annabelle. I saw you in that one movie. The fuck? The fuck? Why can't I stop farting? They make plugs for that. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, love. No! I know I got some. I don't know what I did with it though. Oh, For I got some that was an epic battle on both sides. That was. That was so fun. I need to get yeah, delicious medicine. My link tree is in my link in my bio. You can click the link in my bio. Take to my Instagram. My dog needs his medicine, y'all. Me and Barb's are gonna find a new battle to get into. One second. Let me put on my bathrobe, beach. I don't know, Jamie. I don't know. Faith, those were epic battles. Everyone that just helped us was incredible. Shout out to Sean, you guys. That was so fucking dope. Oh my God, that was next level. I'm trying to see. Okay. See if I can just show me on live, I believe you. Does anyone know what this thing above her head is right here? It looks like a palette, but it looks like it's her. Does Barb's have her own palette? What's this about? Someone fill me in on this. I like Barb's makeup. It looks better than his. Uh, Mary, thank you so much. You eat about four to nine pounds of lipstick a year if you wear it often. Fun facts. Oh. Four to nine pounds of lipstick. Okay. I don't remember lipstick being in the food pyramid, but... That's interesting. It's like one of those weird facts, like you eat like eight spiders in your lifetime or something like that. I can't with barbs. She modeled. Oh, okay. So she has like, or she had a modeling gig of some sort. She modeled for one of their palettes. Oh, so on a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, like, Barb's is on it? Oh, okay. Do you know what palette? Huh. I doubt that. Jaded Iguana Goonie, thank you so much for the super chat. The eating spiders thing is a wives' tale. The up close palette. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> the up close palette. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I believe you, baby. I don't know why, though. Hi. Jeffrey. Hey, Jerry. Do you Key remember bar. us? Hey, Jerry, what up? Key, why do you look so beautiful tonight? Oh, uh, thank you, Jerry. Jeffrey, you look beautiful as well. Thank you so much. We just did a little Valentine's Day makeup together. Yeah. Okay. Do you have but, any suggestions? No, it should have been just for you. Uh, some suggestions for what, love? Valentine's Day makeup. This is it. We're wearing okay. it. Okay, thank fire. You. Are you matching? Hold on, let's see. No, we both have pink on. Yeah. yeah. So this stream was from Monday, which means they've been celebrating Valentine's Day since the weekend. Okay. Oh. Your boyfriend fell asleep, so you're here early. We love when our significant others become unconscious so that we don't have to deal with them anymore. That's the whole point in having one. Barb's with the boomer angle. Priscilla Pretzley. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God, the picture. <laughs> Loving the bitchiness this evening. Please take my coin for the extra effort. Hard hands to you, Lord Joldemort. Oh my gosh. Priscilla, thank you so much appreciate that. I will not be disrespecting that coin. I can assure you of that. 
Barb's makeup looks way better than Jeffrey's. I agree. I agree. You can't even see his eyelid. It's just like eyelash and then the area below the eyebrow. Like there, there's no eyelid. What's he going to do now? Fry bacon, eat fruit bars, or zebra cakes? I should really throw away those zebra cakes. Ugh. I... Does anybody want these? Like, I really don't think that I'm going to eat these ever again. When do they expire? Oh, wow, they expire soon. March 4th. Yet he owns a makeup brand. Fax me them. Ugh. Do you ship to the UK? Yes. It looks infected. Capricorn and Jay, hello there. Here's a St. Valentine's Day gift to make up for being picked on today. Oh, thank you so much, Capricorn and Jay. A, a virtual hug back to you as well. I, I, don't, I don't know how we virtually hug, but I, I, I attempted it. I initiated it, just, just so you know. <laughs> Thanks so much. He has shrunken in eyelids. That's why you can't see them. Oh. It's fire. Just a little. I don't know. care if you wear makeup or not. Even like just objectively, that's fire. Thank I could never so do that. I did. I did cosplay for a little bit. I could never, dude. I learned so much from doing cosplay. There's so much to it. Mia, yeah, welcome in. We're just doing some battling and hanging out. Do you have anyone that's online? Let's see. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, you guys want to pick? I am fierce. We no, I keep ditching Kemi. We can bring him back. I love Kemi. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, what do you mean by that? Ken <laughs> I keep ditching him. We can bring him back, though. <laughs> Kemi, what is in your mouth? <laughs> are you okay? Baby. Oh my gosh, that felt like a, a yeah. There was a lot of water squirting in my mouth at one time. Well, oh my gosh, it made it made me bleed. I can't. What did you just do? I just flossed my mouth with this thing. Inside doggies, let's go. Mm. I can't. All right, this is a brand new battle, y'all. Everyone, double tap Ooh. the screen. We got a gum bleeder in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Double tap. Grab a badge. Look at all the gloves we got, Barbie. <laughs> Gracie, what up, baby? You got a lot of gloves over there. Yeah, we do. Okay, you go. Thank you, Barbie. I'm going nah nah. But I love you guys so much. You I well? shall see you yeah, guys I mean. later. He's doing his makeup. I think he wants to build up his room. Crystal, how long have you been on, baby? Oh, God, not this kid again. Ugh. What do they call him? They call it Simba. Anytime, anytime that this kid comes in the chat, it's just like awkward flirting between them. Oh, more so like one-sided flirting. Is Kemi Southern? I have no idea. Esso Curse. Hey there. Thank you. We down a mod. All right, I'll step up and do it. Star fam, you're welcome. Is the gird girding? We down a mod. Not that I know of. There was a little bit of uh, allegations being thrown around earlier tonight about a certain mod being toxic, but I don't know if that person ever followed up. Kemi is the new Eugenia. I know, it's kind of like they only invite him along if like they need somebody to shit on or like somebody to like lose. Flirts for views. He is. He's he's like an e sugar daddy, but instead of money, he like gives them clout. 
Lapis, thank you. Leave our precious bean alone, y'all nasty hiss. <laughs> precious bean. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the rule of the internet. If you can dish it, you have to take it. Mm hmm. Jordy, Sam is gone. Who's Sam? What happened? Who's Sam? Kemi just seems like a child. Well, he looks very, um, young. He has, like, that naturally, uh, young look to him. <laughs> Katniss, oh my god. Our Jord and Savior. <laughs> uh. One of your mods. Free Sam. Oh. Did did they quit or did they like she deleted her channel? Oh Sam, yes, Eugenia Cooney shorts. Oh, Yes, I do remember her now. Mm. Uh, almost two hours. Amazing. Yeah, almost two hours. But we just had like a prayer session for Queen and her dad, so. You're my first battle. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. My chat was telling me, are things not going well? No, yeah, her dad is in the ICU now, so now she's just waiting for 48 hours to see if he makes it through after the surgery. Okay, so yeah. the surgery, he... He, he, he went through the surgery, he's out of surgery, so now he's just in the ICU and just waiting for him to pull through. That's it. Thank you, Kimmy. Oh my God, Thank Barbie. The That's the one I you. With the... Uh, oh. I'm messaging you. Could. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, pup. Ashley, website's coming out next week, baby. Simba, what's so funny? Huh? I'm just, I'm just smiling. I'm just glad to be here. Yeah? Act like it. <laughs> oh my god, why does he always do that arm thing? He always does the arm thing. I I would I would love to know if he does all of these little like flirty things on a stream when he's not here with Jeffrey. Like if we were to watch his channel, no Jeffrey. Like always, he's always doing the flex thing. Hi Desiree. Lapis, thank you, Jordy. I'm here to say that your fluffy hair is magical. Why, thank you. Even if it is receding. What did Barb say? He thinks he's hot, but I don't see it. I mean, he's young and in shape. So. That's enough for most people. Oh, Parsons. Chad, double tap. Jeez, let's go. All that dang. I missed you. I could man. not. I could not. Chris, <laughs> they send me one more fucking turkey. I'm I cannot. I cannot with this. <laughs> That's how I've been. I haven't did. I haven't did. I've been doing neutral. Lauren with the turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't seen that. Y'all ain't seen that. Oh my God. He's really he's into these turkeys. Sweet <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> Who's sending you the turkeys? Everyone with the turkeys, I'm gonna pee myself. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know what happened. I can't stand it. Oh my God. My God. What is going on? And I was still doing it for a while too. Oh my makeup! Stop! Stop! He's not, he's already came off. 
Oh my god, he said stop, stop my makeup. Oh. Julia Gale, hello! For the Amber Linger music video fund. <laughs> the thumbnail itself sent me absolute perfection. The bok choy orange chicken line is chef's kiss. Well, every line is iconic. Rejoice. <laughs> Thanks again for the continuous laughter. That is so sweet of you, Julia. I had fun making that. It can it can sometimes it can sometimes get a little tedious, like writing things, writing up scripts and finding the right words and everything, but the finished product is awfully fun. This is so unfunny, it hurts. What do you mean that you don't like seeing Jeffrey with a turkey filter on his face going blah, 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 over and over again? What do you mean that that's not entertaining? I just think that you don't know good entertainment when you see it. How about that? Simba is hot. Okay, golfer girl in the chat is thirsting over uh, Jeffrey's little flavor of the week. Stop. Um, <laughs> look what Jeffrey done started. Oh my god, y'all better Chat, we're supposed stop. to be doing the freaking Valentine, not no damn turkey. Chat MVP, thank you so much. I am Aaron. Please, mama, thank you, Sierra. Man, Tuka's Nikita, Trevor, Renee. Uh, I can't breathe. Oh my god, I, I, I can't, I can't. MVP to fucking Parsley, all the way from Australia. Thank you, King. Lauren, thank you. Lauren got a glove with all the turkey. <laughs> MVP, Chrissy Joe, the Queen. Pup, thank you. Hunter, thank you. Wani, Callista, Dixon, Andrea. And dope. I want to see Simba covered in turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Extra oh my gravy. God. My jaw hurts. Help. Oh, I hope everything okay, babe. You guys, this is a brand new battle. Everyone double tap that screen. Everyone Let's double go. tap oh. the screen. Share the live. Oh, shit. Go. Oh, shit. Sierra, Let's thank go. you. Oh, live goal complete. You guys are amazing. Let's thank go, Chuck. <laughs> Love you, too, Dylan. What up? All right, new new lovers. Yeah, glasses yeah, on. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Let's focus on balance. Oh, the taters are so cute, them little tater tots. Oh, <laughs> turkey palette. <laughs> oh my god. They're being so silly. I actually love it. Barbs as a turkey not paying attention to the battle is the mood for 2024. I think that everyone should adopt Barbs' attitude for the remainder of the year. Turkey filter on head, not paying attention. I, is there any other way to live life? I don't think that there is. Dappy, thanks for gifting in someone in the chat a membership. Sweet of you. Nanny, no love you. How are you this evening? Hiya, Jay. Big heart hands from Dublin. The fuck? She's wearing clothes. Oh, you must be behind. <laughs> Eugenia was, in fact, wearing clothes. She was. <laughs> uh, hey, Dea. Uh, happy V-Day. And here it's more like Friendship Day. What? Oh, sorry. That came up. That one came up already. Sorry, I already read that one. Oh, you were the person that wanted it expedited. That's right. <laughs> uh... I agree. Barb's is bothered by nothing. She does not give one shit. One shit she doesn't have. No. Uh-uh. Turkey barbecue. <laughs> Molly, thank you so much. Congrats on your great detective work. I know. They're going to promote me soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all are fucked up for that one. <laughs> Y'all are real. I can't. I can't. Hell no. Delicious. Do it again. Do it again. Oh my god. I can't. You might Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> Lauren. Oh my Thank god. You, Lauren. I can't. <laughs> you guys, no, I've seen that turkey. Yeah, that would have been Jeffy would have been number one in the mm -hmm. Valentine Day gift. 
They need to add that shit. <laughs> I'm number one in the um. I I don't get it. Like you you'd think that they would do this around November, but it's like the middle of February and they're all dressing up as turkeys. <laughs> like, I, just, I mean, it, that's fine. It's cute, I guess, but I just don't get it. <laughs> oh my God. Bimo Klein, hate this again. Why did I get caught off guard? Like he was going to say the N word. Do you mean at the end of the last live? Cause I also actually thought that because he was like arguing well not arguing he was like having like words with that one guy and then he like i know what you mean i actually know what you mean that did sound a little bit weird there at the end nicole garrett thank you years ago i understood why he was mean but now he is just ooh. he has lost his class and everyone can see through his narcissistic bullshit i missed the, the youtube jeffrey this one is gross <sighs> well, I I just remember all the the old Jeffrey, like 2000, 2000s Jeffrey of like MySpace and everything. I mean, you watch some of those older videos. I mean, nasty, some nasty ass stuff is said. Some really nasty stuff is said. So I guess I never really had a, uh, oh, accidentally clicked on something. I guess I never really had a period where I thought Jeffrey was uh, nice, so to speak. Do, 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 do. Rosie Kane, thank you so much for becoming a shorty. Glad to have you, Rosie. Welcome, welcome. The turkey head is a gift that's still available from Thanksgiving for some reason. Oh, okay. Cyberbug! Hi, Cyberbug. I'm not caught up. Is Eugenia still restricted? Also, happy Valentine's to Jordy and everyone else. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, Cyberbug. Yes, she is still age-restricted. But she is uh, trying to rebrand herself into a new person. Uh, so. Thanksgiving ranks right now. I'm the bar for, for real. <laughs> oh my God. Good Talk night, about Katie, it, it, be in the future. <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> oh, I got my lip liner. Hold on, my dog's gonna take it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did I just go? Oh, it's a brush. Oh my god, it's a makeup brush. Y'all are sick. Crystal, we're number one in the Valentines. Chat on doubles go. I wouldn't expect you not to be, baby. I'm, I'm trying to have a welcome back. I'm like, mm -hmm. hello. All right, y'all. Oh, I you. love the gifts. The gifts are so beautiful. So, I woke up today and I was like, oh, okay, they got something new, huh? So oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I wish they had sound. I know. Especially the sweet Topia. Mm -hmm. It's mama. Let's go knock with the ICU. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Yeah, we're so behind on the leagues, y'all. We haven't been live in a week. Okay. Where are you? A1? Uh -huh. Oh, baby, we're B2, honey. Uh -huh. You're, right. You're right there. You're right there. Mm hmm. I'll probably be able to go live again March 1st, right? Wait, this is. Get it, babies. Lorella, gloss, and charm. <laughs> Whoa, Barb's is having fun. <laughs> oh. Everybody go, 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 go. Damn. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That's tough. What? Yes. That's tough. At least, oh at least your makeup god. is nice. Oh I am fair. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
That was epic, you guys. MVP to Kemi. That was so amazing. Thank you, baby. Congratulations on the level up. MVP, B. Marie, Amanda, Zoe, Dan the Face, Zareda, Kimberly, Crystals and Coffee. Damn, Jeffrey's lost twice now? He doesn't usually like to lose like this. Everyone's double tapping and hanging out with us. Thank you. That, that was, was so epic. That, that was, was awesome. Hot. That was so hot. <laughs> Lala, thank you so much for being in here tonight. Right, Katie? That was epic. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, Katie. Mm -hmm. Do what you're doing. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Paul has been replaced. Yes, this is the new Paul. <laughs> well, wait a second. If I move my... Look at his username. It's called Paul and Jen. So is his name Paul too? Hmm. Which one of you is the real Paul Dow? Eileen! Thank you. I love you. Let me ride it platonically. <laughs> well, because you asked so nicely. Caitlin Lawrence. Hey there. Oh, no, late. I'm late, Jordy. What'd I miss? Um, some Eugenia investigation. Uh, some Jeffrey makeup. Him, like, eating lipstick. Um, that's about it. Not that much. Timu Paul. Timu Paul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maggie, thanks for gifting someone in the chat a membership. That's really sweet of you to do. Have we ever had Gen X Renegade in the chat? Gen X Gatorade. No, Gen X Renegade likes to fight me um, on Twitter at least once a week. Maybe I don't I don't think it's it's been a few days though. What's today? Wednesday? I think like over the weekend he he tried to come at me. I don't remember when the last time was. How old is Jeffrey? Thirty eight. That's just Paul with normal lips. <laughs> oh my god. Caitlin Lawrence, thanks so much for the super sticker. Only a matter of time before Barb's gets replaced. Mmm, you think Barb's has a shelf life? Really very annoying. Appreciate that. He's in love with EC. Gen X is in retrograde. I like that. <laughs> uh, 38, yep, 38. He just had his birthday. When was that? It just feels like yesterday, but I think that that was back in November when he had his little birthday thing with the Scorpio cake. I'll riot if Barb's gets replaced. I don't think that he has anyone on deck to replace Barb's with. And I mean, she's like kind of not problematic whatsoever. So... I think that she'll be cast for next season. Rice Noodles, thank you so much for the super chat. Jeffrey was always nice and patient, said literally no one except for Eugenia. <laughs> May you long reign, Lord Jordy. Thank you so much, Rice Noodles. No, I, I mean, seriously, all, all of the compliments that Eugenia gives to Jeffrey, I have heard from many people over a long period of time. He's nice. He's talented. He deserves the world. Um, he's nice. He's sweet. He's kind. Um, I think that she is the true speaker of our generation. Um, all right, everybody. We are coming up on the two and a half hour mark here. So I think that we are going to call it for this evening. I'm thinking tomorrow we are going to do a foodie beauty stream. So I apologize if that does not interest some of you. Um, so we are going to call it here for tonight. Probably foodie beauty tomorrow. 
And then uh, who knows what awaits us for the weekend. But thanks to everybody that hung out. Thanks to everybody who sent in a super chat. Super generous of you guys, as always. Appreciate all the shorties hanging out and anybody who became a shorty or renewed their membership this evening. Thank you so much uh, to everyone who just hung out and had a lot of fun in the chat. We always have a good time here. But all right, everybody. Go out. Eat four to nine pounds of lipstick. Uh, put, a, put a turkey on your head. Go, go gobble at your significant other. Uh, go cream somebody. What else could you do? I don't know. Just uh, go, go have bones. Go, just go out and have bones. All right, everybody. <laughs> have a good night. Happy Valentine's Day again. Heart hand. One last heart hand for the chat. See y'all. Twitch. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, Tia. I don't know yet. Maybe. I don't know. Not saying yes, not saying